What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Hope you're all doing very well. I want to talk about my gear and sort of this transition period that we're in right now where our old tier set bonuses are still kind of relevant. This is actually a bad example. That's 415. Here's a good one. 421. 421 item level is still kind of like relevant, right? But we're getting all this new gear if you've been doing content You've been getting all this new gear and you're probably upgrading it and I already have a 441 of the new tier set bonus coming in in season two. So I'm going to talk a bit about that. I want to start with my mythic plus rating and the progress that I've kind of been doing so far. This is the second week of season two and I've already done I've done 15s on all tyrannical and on then now all on fortified as well. So we're kind of crushing it right now with the storm build. I want to be clear about the build I'm using. This is the storm build that I've kind of been adapting and trying to trying to work through. This is my favorite iteration of it right now. I am definitely looking at making some changes. We'll have to see as I get the new tier set bonus. This is kind of what this video is all about. Does this build change as we get the new tier set bonus fully unlocked? Because with the old tier set bonus, we still have this generation, this storm strike giving us maelstrom weapon stacks. And then the new tier set bonus is giving us mastery, 24% mastery when we use Sundering, which I think is better than the four set bonus of the old tier set bonus. We'll get to that in a minute, but it's going to be interesting to see if it changes my talents a little bit. If I shift more of my priority into Maelstrom weapon stack generation with elemental assault, or if I could get rid of something like Storm Blast, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really happy with the progress that we've made so far. Really been able to just kind of crush through these dungeons. And I've just pugged almost all of these. Like, more than half of these were pugged. I think six out of the eight or five out of the eight of them, I think I pugged. The other three were with my group of people that I play with uh, pretty often. But you can see, um, I'm really happy. We're doing really well. And I promise you guys, if you're wondering about, does the build work in Mythic Plus right now? It does. This is the rating that you could have. You know, I don't know what you guys are working with right now, but this is a really good rating right now. Obviously, as people, as the days and weeks go on, this will, you know, I'm going to want to expand on this, but it does work. That's the bottom line. It works. Okay, so let's, let me just look at the gear really quickly. Um, I Actually, I'll look at, I want to talk about how to acquire the tier set bonuses because I had a really crazy vault. That was a big, big deal that I had. Let me jump in. Let me just show you that right now really quickly. Right, so here is the... Here was the vault that I opened today, to yesterday, yesterday. Okay, my ideas fucked up. This happened yesterday. So we had six pieces of loot because we did the raid and we did Mythic Plus. So it's insane. We had a weapon here. We had a tier set bonus here. We had a ring and another tier bonus here, I think, and a trinket and then a bad. This was bad. But we got a weapon, 428 weapon choice. I did not end up taking the weapon. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. My vault was really insane. We had a weapon. We also had a tier set bonus, which I did end up taking. This is why I have two piece right now. So this is the main thing. Um, and then we had uh, a trinket there. Do I look at everything else? There's a ring here that's like 441. That helmet was crazy. Look at this. Look at this ring. 441 ring. I have a 415 ring. So I was really tempted to take the ring. But again, you can always kind of get more rings and stuff. And I really just wanted the tier set bonus. So ultimately, I ended up deciding to take the tier bonus, as you can see right here. And um, here's what I'm working with right now. We're working with two tiers. And I think for Enhancement Shaman, there's a small little window that we have over this next week or two where your old tier set bonus is going to be still okay. 421 is like okay. And then your new tier set bonus coming in, the item level, you're obviously going to spike. But the, the bonuses that you get, the two set bonus... The two-piece bonus from the old tier set is insanely strong. The Maelstrom weapon stack generation is really, really good. The four-piece bonus from the old set is kind of whatever. It just gives you some haste stacking. Not a big deal. Whereas the two-set bonus on the new tier set is really good. Sundering giving you 24% more mastery gives you this window for 15 seconds where you can just do crazy, crazy like chain lightning, crash lightning combos and get lots of extra damage in even you know especially with this storming build that we're working with right here here is a dungeon that i did oh let me move this over here there we go here's a dungeon that i did 
This was a uh, just a plus 12 Uldaman. It was me working on the fortified week. I hadn't done any fortifieds yet. We did 101k overall, and this is what the build looked like. This was with the double tier set. So the two-piece old and the two-piece new, this is what we were able to produce with it. 101k in an Uldaman, and I did a bunch of other dungeons as well and was able to do perfectly fine damage. This was just kind of the cleanest one I'm showing. But here goes Chain Lightning, Crash Lightning, Wind Fury, Lightning Bolt, and there's Sundering. Now again, I have this new Sundering window that I'm getting, but I'm retaining all the Maelstrom weapon stack generation from the old set as well. So it's really, really cool, and it performs really well. And it, like, it'll get you all your keys. Like, I basically got my... I got like six or seven of these dungeons... I got with this build having old two piece and new two piece. Okay, so I just want to I want you guys to know that you can do this right now. If you're stuck in this weird like limbo of having being able to potentially get the new two piece and have the old two piece, it will work for you. I promise it'll work. Um, it just can get a little bit strange. How exactly do you acquire the tier? I want to make sure I just finish off with that. Right next to the raid, so I'm in the I'm in the the downstairs, the the downstairs, the Zerlet Cavern. Okay, I'm right here at a place called Obsidian Rest. It's just south of Aberus. Okay, there are vendors here that you can use to spend some currency that you get. Now, I got very lucky in my normal clear of Aberus. I got this thing to drop, a Void Touched Curio, and it allowed me to purchase one of these items here. Um. You can get a tier set bonus from that. And I forget which one I actually purchased right now. But the point is you can get that just from uh, this Void Touch Curio. I think it dropped out of the normal rate. So that's how I got my very first piece. And then I got another piece out of the vault, which, of course, is the gloves that I'm wearing. So I think I ended up getting the legs. I got legs from my Curio, and then I upgraded them. So you can champion six out of eight. It started at a champion like two out of eight. So I've upgraded these to 431. And then I got the other two piece from the vault, from my vault. So now I'm sitting at new two piece, right? But I just want you to know that if you get one of these Void Touch Curios, you can spend it here. Now, if you manage to get 2000 Mythic Plus rating, you will also get rewarded with another thing, a Draconic Mark of Mastery, just like the Curio, but it's the heroic version now you can get this mark this mark item right here you can get it by getting 2000 mythic plus rating by getting aotc in the raid so killing all the bosses on heroic difficulty or i think getting 1500 pvp rating somebody correct me if i'm wrong there but i think it's 1500 pvp rating somebody let me know if you do any of those three things you get this draconic mark of mastery and you can spend it here at this vendor now, be careful how you spend this. I'm not spending mine yet because it'll only give me my three-piece set bonus. So I'm going to be raiding later this weekend. So I'm going to see if I get a third tier set bonus from the raid. Then I'll spend this curio on my fourth tier set bonus. And then I'll be fully unlocked into my fourth tier set bonus. So I just want you guys to know, you can if you get the, if you get the lucky drop on the Void Touch curio, you can use it here. For kind of a normal slash raid finder piece of gear. If you get um, AOTC or uh, 1500 PvP or uh, 2000 Mythic Plus rating, like I've got here now, then you'll get this one and you can spend it. So if you're missing, if you have one piece of tier and you need that second piece of tier, try to get your rating up to 2000 or get uh, ahead of the curve, whatever you, whatever you want to do that, and you can go spend it here and get a piece of gear. So that's how it is there. But guys... I just wanted to do a quick little video on that, on the, the, the build that I'm running right now is actually an in-between build. We're kind of in between Season 1 and Season 2 to a degree, right? I have my two-piece, my old two-piece, which is very strong for Enhancement Shaman, and then I have the new two-piece, which is also quite strong. So, if you want to run this build, it will perform for you, as I showed you in my picture there. It, it performs very, very well with the Storm build in particular. It'll also perform well with the Fire build. Or any build, if you're running the Elementalist build with Hailstorm or the new Fire build with Fire Nova, it'll work for any of those. Because again, it's just giving you extra Maelstrom weapon stack generation and it's giving you 24% mastery after you hit Sundering. So you get this giga-huge um, mastery window 
after you press Sundering. So it'll work with any of the builds. The Storm build has lots of lightning damage. Mastery buffs your lightning damage, your fire damage, and your frost damage. So any build you want to run, it'll work for it, okay? I just want to let you guys know that. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you stuck in a situation like this? Are you in between tier sets right now? Are you in the same situation as me? I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. I just wanted to make sure that you guys all understood. You might have about a week or two where you're stuck in between tier set bonuses. I think this is the best setup that you could have right now. If you don't have the new four piece, just have both two pieces bonuses from the old set and the new set. It'll carry you in your damage. It's really, really good. Okay. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you all. I will see you in the next one.